A mission of mercy for an Aeromed crew becomes a close encounter with a drone. It happened back in August, high above downtown Grand Rapids. And News 8's Joe LaFergi is live to explain what happened. Joe? Well, the crew was making what they thought was a routine landing on the helipad on top of the hospital when crew members spotted that drone. It happened in mid-August. The Aeromed helicopter was on approach to the rooftop helipad on Spectrum's downtown Grand Rapids campus. There were no patients on board. The aircraft was landing to pick up additional crews for a run. Because all eyes are on the outside looking for any um, issues like obstacles and hazards. And as they were approaching the helipad to land, one of the team members in the back spotted a drone um, fairly close, uh, enough to cause pause. It's difficult to make out the drone in the video. The Mavic Mini Ultralight 249G is slightly bigger than the palm of a hand, but it has the potential to cause catastrophic damage. If it connects with certain areas, such as like one of the, the blades or the rotors, it can completely disable that and lead to a serious issue up to and leading to a crash. It's big enough that it can do significant damage and disable the helicopter, but it's also so small that it is hard to detect. The crew landed safely as the drone continued to hover nearby. It just kept approaching until it got close enough that he reached up and grabbed it right out of the sky. If it's hard for you to imagine what could have happened, this video is one example. In 2008, an Aeromed pilot practicing takeoff and landings hit a radio tower on the roof. The pilot managed to keep the chopper on the roof. He and another passenger escaped the fireball cause when the chopper crashed. No one was seriously hurt. Major upgrades were made to the helipad to prevent the same type of near tragedy from happening in the future. But even though the FAA has rules in place, the hospital has little control over the cheap and easy to buy drones. And some 4,000 people, from patients to staff to family members, are in the hospital on an average day. It puts people in the hospital and then even bystanders that would be, you know, on the sidewalks and outside at risk. Now, as for who owned that drone, who was flying that drone, that may be pretty tough to determine. They're supposed to be registered with the FAA. This one wasn't registered, so there's no real paper, paper trail or not much of a paper trail to trace it back to the owner. If you have any information on who may have been flying that day, you're asked to call the local FAA office, and we have that number at woodtv.com. Live in Grand Rapids, Joe LaFergie, News 8.